Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome in. I'm a bronze jade and today we are playing Fatal Frame 2. After what I experienced at the end of Fatal Frame 1, which I can only describe as like a desperation to not ugly cry, I had to play this. This one is like a cult classic, as I understand. This one improved upon a lot of the experiences and gameplay of the first as I've heard I don't know because this is my blind playthrough I have seen my mom play this when I was a kid but I was too scared to watch so I am very honored and excited to provide this blind playthrough for you all today I am playing it on the PC SX2 PS2 emulator with widescreen hack enabled and I have a HD mod, fan-made, that I have also applied to the emulator. I'll have all the description and links down below if you're interested in getting that texture pack. And without any further ado, let's freaking do this thing! I'm so freaking excited. Oh, so there's only easy and normal. Hmm. Curious if hard opens up. If no, I actually don't remember if there was a hard mode in the first, but of course we're going normal. Ooh, that little bell chime. Didn't we always promise each other? Turn it up! That we would always be together. My you. I used to play here all the time. Yeah. All of this will be gone soon. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little bit. I'm fine. Mia? Yes? Oh! Never mind. Little we'll butterfly there. This is beautiful, gorgeous. Oh shoot! So that's how she hurt her leg. Mayu, about that time back then. Oh, where'd she go? Okay, so Mayu, Mayu? hurt her leg when they were kids. Oh, she's got a little limp. Oh. Her bow kind of looks... Mayu! Looks like a butterfly. Where are you going? Oh no, dude. The forest, like, freaking took a turn. Oh! That gave me chills. I hear chanting, kind of. Beautiful. God, they look so cute! Just like y'all. Hope you guys are doing good, by the way. So awesome to be in here playing this and hanging out with you, hanging out with you guys. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded. I had just edited and uploaded the last episode of Silent Hill Origins, however that had been recorded a couple months prior, because, sorry, I got like, <laughs> really busy, I'm sorry. But anyway. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Yeah, so the texture pack that I have applied is completely fan-made, it's awesome. 
Looks really great, too. Oh, I keep missing the dialogue. Where did it go? Oh, I have to be eating automatically. Okay. The path disappears just after the statue that looks like garden guardian deities. Okay. So, we do not go back. We go forward. I thought as much. I just wanted to check it out. So excited. There's nothing I'd rather be doing than playing something spooky close to Halloween season. Mayu? Mayu? That was cool. Little voice track right there. See, that looks like someone's walking with torches. Totally, dude. Look at that. Oh, she's calling out. That's cool. What do we got here? What do we got? And you can hear the chanting. Chills. Where is this? Oh, that looks like the little roped areas in Fatal Frame One. Mayu? <gasps> there she is. <gasps> A lost village. That was cool. Beautiful. The Lost Village! I've heard about this place. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? Sounds like it, girlfriend. The Lost Village, Chapter One. We just getting started. I heard singing before, but there's nobody here. Ooh wee! This is looking good. Oh, look at this beautiful lantern. This lantern has a dim glow. Save point. All right. Perfect! Awesome. I will remember that. Oh, her poor leg. I mean, her knee. She's got a little limb. Alright, so I can see that they're twins. Or at least I think they are. But it seems like the character I'm playing, which I don't know her name yet, seems like she's almost like Big Sis, you know? Oh. There is something on the ground. Black bag, several pieces of paper, and a photo inside. The news clipping. News clipping from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Surveyor Missing. This reminds me of the first. Now, I know that the stories are not connected. I know it's Fatal Frame 2 is completely independent of the first game. So I am aware of that. Um, but I'm already kind of noticing the pacing is similar. With the start of construction for All God's Dam approaching, Masumi Makimura, 26, the geological surveyor dispatched to the area has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site. Is everything moving in real time when we read notes? Like the first? The site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard from for five days. It seems like a follow-up to that other news clipping. The search for Masi Makimura, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. 
Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for All God's Dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days. Couple. Photo of a man and woman are attached to the news clipping. That must be him. Cool. Whose is this, I wonder? It's just in the Who middle. Is here? Middle of the path, a bag. Someone went running. Wow, this looks really good. I turned up the brightness at a hair. Oh! Mayu, did you see that? I like the lighting effects. I wonder if anyone's here. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Mia? <laughs> yeah. She's like, you okay? Like, no. <gasps> Who is that? You could see a kimono room beyond the lattice. You could probably get it from somewhere inside the house. Okay, hold on. Is there like a um I'm looking for like my name or information or something. I'm just trying to make sure I get their names correct. That's all. All right, let's check it out. What do we got? Oh. We're going through the door together. Spooky. Grab your blankets. Grab your snacks. We just getting started. Isn't anybody here? Should we go inside? <laughs> so she's sensing. Mayu? Mayu! What's wrong? <laughs> Does she have like a sight, like a vision? And she just let her sister see what she's seeing, or vice versa? When I was reading about kind of into this game, just not the story, but when I was just kind of doing the preliminary research of like when it was made, I heard this game was not supposed to be as scary as the first, though this one had somewhat more commercial success. But that was freaking terrifying, like very chilling. The sounds too, the the vocal tracks, the voice acting. The first one, maybe it was just difference in, you know, the quality, but that was pretty. Miu, don't go too far. Okay, I'm Miu. Sorry, I think I had it wrong earlier. Let me look this up because I want to make sure I'm getting their names right. Oh, she's Mayu with the hurt knee. I'm Miu. It almost sounds like me, you, but it's me, yo, I think. Close enough. 
I've heard rumors about the lost village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest led lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman who is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. Creepy, dude. Okay. This is beautiful. Oh, it's like the actual kimono room from the first where we get to walk through. A page torn from a notebook is on top of the cabinet. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanished on the day of the ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. I can see a little save point right here. I feel like we're being watched by someone. Ooh. There's something in the drawer. Sacred water. I love the extra voice acting and the lines that they add. Look like women's kimonos. So items are not always highlighted by the blue light or glow. That sacred water was hidden. Oh, excuse me, girly. I'm so sorry. Is this going to be like Silent Hill 4? Please. Actually, you know what? Let's save real quick. Okay. Done diddly done. Let's keep going. So spooky. Oh. The tank controls is a little... What is she looking at? Mai, what are you looking at, girly? Sorry, looking at something here. Ah, uh, maybe it's nothing. Oh, we gotta go down that long, creepy corridor. Let's stay out here for a minute <laughs> before we face all of that. It's this lady. That's who we keep seeing. There's an old mosquito net hanging here. The cord the net is hanging by is drooping from the weight of the dust and is damp from moisture. It looks like an atrium beyond the lattice. You can see a deck beyond the atrium. Oh, that's cool. Something is reflecting. Herbal medicine! Yes! I'm going to be a lot more cautious with my items than I was in the first playthrough of, of Fatal Frame 1. It was a little difficult. Items got scarce and the monsters did not mess around. Okay, I guess let's, I want to go upstairs first. I wonder who this woman is that we're seeing. She doesn't look like Mayu's vision. Or actually, Mio was seeing something in the forest when she thought it was her sister. She thought it was Mayu, but it was a woman in a kimono. It doesn't look like the woman that we're seeing in here. What else is in here? Mio. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, she's gonna stay. Mio. Oh! Wait, I wanna... I wanna... Come come with me, come with me. Okay, <laughs> she's coming. I just wanna check out the rest. We'll go in that room in a second. I kept searching for you. Ooh. So, this is a long hallway. We came down here anyway. Wow, I mean, graphically, this is such an improvement. The textures, the environmental details, the lighting, even. Obviously, I have a texture 
you know, mod pack applied, but very cool. Door seems to be locked. And then what's down here further? I guess let's go check out that room before I keep going. It's a bit cold. Yeah, alright. I will be right back here. I'm just gonna go check it out. Just waiting on my you. Her poor knee. Okay, she made it. Oh, it's just locked. A padlock engraved with a family crest. Representing ginger on the door. Okay. Let's continue on then. Alright, let's go back into the cold room. This is the room we saw in the beyond the atrium. Piece of memos on the floor. Matsumi, it's me. Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together, we can make it. Call for me if you find us. I'll be nearby. Miss you. Ooh, I another. wonder if anyone's really here. I wonder if it's gonna be another lover's story. Another forbidden love story. There's dust in the cold bracier. Bracier? It hasn't been used in a long time. It seems like this place is a little run down. No one's been taking care of it. Abandoned, perhaps? Cold, damp wind is blowing in from the atrium. There are lanterns at the back of the garden. They're lit. There's some murky water in the wash basin. I guess we can't go down there. Goodness, it's dark. I don't... I think this is dead end. It's just hard to see. I'm trying to get by her. Oh, sorry. Oh. I guess that's it. Okay. Let us continue on. Just more scattered notes. Adding to the mystery and enigma of this place. She was right there, y'all. Right there. Basically. Door is slightly ajar. It was locked before. Okay. Something's strange about this place. I'd say. There are some old containers on the shelf. There isn't anything unusual about them. There's a flashlight on the table. It seems like the batteries are still good. Someone must have left it here. Camera Obscura Pointers. An old book is under the flashlight. Camera Pointers is written on the cover. Alright! Tip book. Camera was made by Dr. Oso Aso to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. It can reveal events from the past to the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being has an exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at heart of this village's forbidden ritual. If Dr. Aso were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Say, say, Jiro Makabe. Apologies for the destruction of the pronunciation if I provide any throughout this playthrough. It's much older than the flashlight. Seems like it's originally from this house. So we found it. Uh oh. Yep. 
There it is. I heard someone talking just now. That's... Yeah, that looks like the burial areas. Or are they shrines? God. What was that? I can't believe. So it's true. This That looks like the darker or evil side of Kirie. The camera with all those obscura. arms. Mio. It was like all the souls. What's that? Uh oh. Is someone here? Uh-uh. It's time, y'all. I think it's time for action. I'm nervous. Mio. Hi. Okay, cool. I was about to say. <laughs> Give me a little rundown real quick. 30 second lesson. Basic camera operation. Special camera allows you to exercise spirits for taking photographs and you face the direction where the spirit is. The filament at the bottom right on the t on t or top of the viewfinder will glow. Once you've located a spirit, raise the camera with the circle button. Once you've found the spirit, when you found, center it in the viewfinder and press the shutter button, X or R1, to take a photo. Okay? Easy. It was a lot simpler than the first time, than the first game. Oh, it feels a lot smoother too. So I wonder if the upgrades will only increase the usability. We've got four, 48, oh, 48 type 14 film. Circles to open and close. Much better. Okay. Here we go. Mono is hanging on the wall. And what do we have in here? There's some flowers in the alcove. They're withered, but it looks like they were placed here recently. There's something on the floor. Herbal medicine! Alright, let's do this thing. Oh, sorry, girly. Ooh, the flashlight looks good. Look at that. This looks like a battle area if I had ever seen one. Let's check the corners. You never know. Okay. You tried pulling on the sliding door, but it's broken and won't budge. There seems to be a room beyond it. Hmm. Okay. I'm. I saw something, didn't I? Or am I crazy? Okay, I think I'm crazy. I thought I saw the viewfinder flicker or something. The mortuary tablets and incense burners on the family altar are covered with dust. Oh wait, what did it say? There are mortuary tablets and incense burners on the family altar. Mayu. Excuse me. I'm sorry! We really are stuck here. Sorry! Okay. I guess we exit. <gasps> Jesus! Here. Come here! I see you. Are you getting closer? 
Oh, it was like not an enemy. It was, or perhaps it was, but I was thinking it was one of the. It's gone. Like the centiary spirits throughout the map that you could optionally snap a photo of for some points. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. The presence you were feeling in the front of the door is gone now. It said you can capture things that ordinary people can't see with this camera. Could this be the power of the cam camera obscura? Okay. We exercised her. Where? Oh! <gasps> no, stop it. Someone walked through here. That was a chilling touch. Uh, what should we do now? Oh, wonder we should inspect this padlock again. Nope. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yes? What is it? Oh my god, this looks so beautiful! Look at her! So gorgeous. What's wrong? Come on. Someone's here. Where? Up there? Come on, girl, let's keep moving. Mia. Okay, she's coming now. The creepy lines that Mayu adds really gives us something. Oh, wrong way. Really adds a creepy touch to all of this. All right, I must have missed something back here. The door is held shut by some kind of powerful force. Uh oh, there she is. Mia, look. <gasps> it's time. We fighting. Or no, she's leading me somewhere. She's not trying to fight. Right? Ooh. A different place. Hey, we know where that is. Yeah. Okay. We know where that is. There's still something here, though. Hold on. Oh! Oh! I remember this now from the first. It's just like a hint to the next area. And it's... it's gonna just stay there. Okay. Until you find the key item you need. So taking a photo of it's just basically wasting your film, so whoops! Oh, sorry! So sorry, so sorry. Um... Yeah, that is this way. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Brazier? Brazier? Yes. Don't play with me, girl. I am on edge. Oh my god, that looks horrific. It looks like an injured man who is actively strangling someone. Okay, looks like we exercised some spirits. <gasps> he said, Don't come near me. I'm not trying to mess. I should have shot that. I. 
thought maybe. Dang, I should have got that. Hopefully he shows up again. I gotta be trigger happy for this. But not waste. So I gotta get with it. Okay. We completed what we needed to complete here. We saw some more of the story, or, or was introduced to a new ghost. So now... What? Wait. Sorry! I gotta stop doing that to my sister. Um... Yeah. Let's just go back here. That's where it said to go, from this door. Here. Or right. Now let's see. Oh, it's open! It, w it was open before, right? Cold wind blows in from the atrium. Oh! Oh! I see! Okay. That looks like something's in there. A torn notebook page that was stuffed in the bedding has fallen out. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. Miyako Suro. Okay. Miyako. Sliding door of the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped? There's a hanging painting here, but it's so faded you can't even see the color of the flowers. And this mosquito net. So yeah, there's dust, moisture everywhere. This place hasn't been touched in a long time. Kimonos are spilling out of the large chest. There isn't anything else inside. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> Mia, the closet. Or the sliding closet door fell off. What do we got? Ginger key! Perfect! I missed you. Gotcha! Woman behind that. I gotcha, girl! Hopefully that give us some points! The voice acting, I gotta say is very chilling. Much more chilling. Oh shoot, she's up there. I missed her! Gotta be more reactive. Anyway, I find the voice acting more chilling. The ghosts, too? Gotta be faster than that! Man, we're off to a great start already, huh, guys? Okay. Perfect! I don't have to go to my inventory to do this. Small improvements. Quality of life improvements are great. Pretty sure that wasn't like that in the first. I'm stuck! Couldn't I couldn't see it. Not at least from where I was standing. Shut the uh shutter was in the way. This looks beautiful. Something in the drawer. Perfect! Type 61! I guess that's better. Let's check it out. Ooh. Yeah, regular film with low exorcismal power inflicts little damage and takes time to load. Okay, and then 61. Film with high exorcismal power. Okay. Well, until we know what we're dealing with. Cool! Check this out. Spirit orbs. Adds a spirit orb to a basic functions. Or a power-up lens increases the max level. Function power-up. Uses points to raise the level. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so, as I was saying, 
this is the typical power up that I'm aware of, which we did in the first fatal frame. Just using your points to level up, and then we can add orbs too. That's cool. All right, look at all of our terrible photos. File, okay, these are all our notes. Okay, cool. Page torn from a notebook is on the table. How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness, it's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Matsumi. Is that... Let me look. She's looking for Matsumi. Yeah, Miyako. Miyako Sudo. And she's looking for Matsumi. She's here for some reason. Hmm. Okay, we already went in here. This looks interesting, but it's nothing. Alright, what are we missing from in here? Oh, I see. Beautiful kimono. And? I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter, rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a bloodstained kimono, insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out, Don't kill me. That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Curious. Hope we go back there. <laughs> oh, my you. <laughs> I don't think I got her. I think it's because her head was in the way. Nice try though. There's a scroll spread out on the table. It looks like someone was copying something onto it. It's written in ancient characters. You don't know what it says. Matsumi found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. The last part of the memo stops abruptly. Ooh. She also became trapped here. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. Okay, boyfriend. And then, where did she go? Is it this lady who's haunting us? This place must, must be. be. Oh, <laughs> jinx. <gasps> Watch out, girly. <laughs> Mayu? Why? Alright. It's time to break the ice. Break out the camera. And let's do this thing. Come here. Okay, you can exercise spirit by taking photographs. The greater the response indicated on the charge, the greater damage. When the charge goes red, that instant is a shutter chance. Okay, if you can shoot during this instant, you can inflict heavier damage and repel it back. Blast back. Using this blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. Okay, very similar to the first. You must have them to shoot. You have to wait between shots and while loading, pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Okay. It shows load time and high power film gives more damage. Okay, perfect. Y'all know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make the most of this camera film. Uh huh. I'm not messing around. Okay, let's charge this up, hopefully. Oh, the sounds. 
Alright, I think she's behind me now. Oh, I bet you she can affect my you. No, girl, get off of her. I'm I'm trying. I think I got it. Why? Let you go. There you are, there you are. I see ya. Woo! Where's her health bar? Let's go in here, let's go in here. <laughs> Darn it, I missed it. <laughs> Gotta get closer. Get off my sis. <gasps> that hurt, didn't it? Oh no. Are these images of this man? Matsumi? I, th I hope that's his name. I'm trying to remember. No, my sister's gone. No, oh, I felt so safe with someone. Oh, chapter two, Twin Shrine Maidens. Something on the floor. Arachnite. Looks like a glowing blue crystal. The spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use radio on the menu to listen to the stones. Oh, that's cool. And we got a spirit orb. Yeah, used to raise maximum levels. Use the spirit orb from the function upgrades on the camera menu to increase the maximum level of camera function or power up lenses. I can't remember how the the orbs worked in the first. Or no, there wasn't orbs in the first. I'm getting it confused with the recovery item that would automatically be consumed when you die or like when you're health becomes low then you would be revived at full health that i'm getting confused with those those are not the same it's because of the little pillow it just kind of reminded me of that it's been a while since i played the first okay cool after adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions you can raise this level by using the points you've accumulated through capturing spirits Okay. Well, let's go ahead and use it. Why not? It sounds like to me... It sounds like to me the spirit orb is necessary in order to start the power-up. Oh. No, I guess not. Let me read that again. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Let's, yeah. There we go. Let's move back the film to the lower exorcismal power. Range accumulation sensitivity. Let's try the accumulation first. Or no, let's do range. I wonder if you can move them around. Oh no, you can't. It's just like that. It's permanent now. Wonderful. Spirit Stone Radio. Oh, this is what we're gonna need to listen to them. Okay. Pointers. Through the use of crystals and its circuits, this improved version of the crystal radio is able to tune into the voices. If the person wears the crystal for a long time, their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal, a spirit stone. According to Dr. Asso, the radio can also pick up sounds from the spirit world, indicating feelings and intuitions in similar manner to the sympathetic phenomenon that occurs between the twins. 
Radio. What's going on with that radio? So this is like our tapes. Sounds awesome. All right, what do we have in here? Our sis, dude, why? Where did she go? Can we open this? I don't think we can. Uh, wasn't there a door behind the kimono here? <gasps> yes, there's something. I hear it right here. Is it above? Aha! Aha! Found ya! Girl in hiding. Ooh! Spooky. Okay, I guess let's exit. Try to find our girl. Our sis. Did I go that way? I did. Okay. Let's go. <sighs> oh, someone's running. Mayu! Oh, no, don't leave. I'm sorry. I have to go. <gasps> Oh, it's me! I'm controlling her! I guess we followed the butterflies. Twin butterflies. I hear all the voices of the villagers. That's pretty cool. So they're almost like linked. They can see like each other's realities or visions. Partly. Ooh, camera equipment. That's cool addition. The slow power-up lens. Slows down the movement of the spirits. Okay, temporarily slows down the movements. So you use press the triangle button when you charge one or more spirit power points. Shutter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially effective against quick spirits, or spirits that are difficult to time. Nice! They are hooking us up. Measure equipped functions. Show spirit HP. Oh, that's neat. Okay. I was wondering why we couldn't see that before. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP the closest spirit in the capture circle. Okay. I guess you can only have one equipped at a time. Oh, equipped functions. Upgrades. Additional functions. So this is automatically equipped now. Shows the HP. Upper left corner. Okay, and then these are the power lenses, or yeah, lenses that we can use to eventually level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Oh! I saw something. Right down here. <laughs> Just me being silly. Alright, this has been awesome so far. They really have improved upon the first in a lot of different ways. Oh! I'm so glad I came in here. I was just coming to save and say goodbye. But very happy to see... Uh oh. Oh! <gasps> 
No, dude, that's so freaking creepy. Oh, uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't do long hair. It oh, floating too? Oh, great. I missed my opportunity. Great. Awesome. Love that. Ooh, I keep missing it. I want to scream. Come on. Run. Come on. I can't get it. It's like a split second. There we go. Oh my god. Goodness. Did we do it? No, she's still around. There she is. Woo! We got it! Or I thought I did. I guess I didn't. Oh lord, she come. Oh lord, she coming. Come on! She's almost there. She's almost there. I forgot to look in the top left. Come on, girl, I got you this time! I love the feel of the camera. It it feels like such an improvement. The Moonstone, we need to listen to her. She was here the whole time! Oh my god, that is so creepy. I can't wait to hear about that. Okay, y'all, I gotta leave it at some point. I forgot to say in the intro that if you are waiting on Homecom Silent Hill Homecoming or Resident Evil 3, it's coming. Um, I'm trying to kind of tackle them all slowly, simultaneously. So, but they coming. And thank y'all so much for watching me play Fatal Frame 2. I hope you come back to see the rest of the episodes. And I'm just excited for a wonderful story in a very creepy setting, especially perfect timing for spooky season. Thank y'all all so much again for watching. Can't wait to see y'all on the next one. And ciao!